What is up YouTube, Jay Barn 2024 here, and today we're going to be building a Dairy Queen. Today's subscriber of the video is Avent Faulkner. Thanks for being subscribed. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start out with our block of quartz, and we're going to be going six wide with this. And then we'll build up three high and leave two spaces for the windows. For the windows, I'm using the black stained glass. So it'll be a 2x4 window. And then over the window, we're going to grab our red stained clay. Once we get that done, we're going to grab our orange stained clay and we're going to be building up four high with that. Alright, now that we're finished with that, we're going to grab our quartz stairs and on this corner piece we're going to put it there and then the slab and then four stairs the slab on the corner and another stair inside of all that we're going to grab our glowstone and we're going to put it inside there next we're going to grab our brown stained clay and we're going to come out one from the uh, quartz and we're going to go two wide we're just going to build this up a little bit and then we're going to grab our black stained glass and we're going to make one line up and then we're going to build over two so we can have two spots for a door and then we're going to go two with the two wide with the um, stained glass then we're going to leave two spots for another door and then we're just going to go one wide we'll build over the top of all that with this glass and then we'll grab our brown stained clay and we'll go two wide and we're going to build it all the way up. We'll be going 13 high with the brown stained clay. This is where we're going to put the logo, the DQ Dairy Queen logo. So we're going to go ahead and build this up 13 high. I've been getting several requests for this, so that's the reason I chose to do this one next. I wanted to do a smaller build, so I went with a fast food restaurant. Alright, now we're going to grab our block of quartz, and we're going to come out four from the left side, and three off the top. And we're going to go down four with the quartz. keep messing up here because I couldn't remember how I made the sign. We're going to go over one and then put a stair because we're making a D here. And for some reason I just could not remember how I did this. There we go. Finally. <laughs> so as you can see it's a D. And then we're going to build up here and do opposite of what we did, basically. Get rid of this one and make it opposite of that stair. And then we'll put one here, or two here, one in the middle, and then a stair. And all the way down. Then we'll put an upside down stair under here and a block of quartz. That's the best I could do to make a cue. And once we do that we're gonna fill in the inside and below it and above it with our red stained clay. And then we'll go four down on the sides and then two. And we'll do the same thing on the right side as we did the left, four and two. Then we will grab our orange stained clay and we'll put it in the corner and over four. Then we'll grab our blue wool and we'll put one in the corner and over four. Alright, there's the Dairy Queen sign. That's the best I could do, so hopefully it looks good. Alright, now we're just going to grab our slabs and go over the top of everything that we've built so far. 
Next we'll grab our block of quartz and go in one and over six. And we'll build up four high and all the way across. And then everything in between will fill in with our black stained glass. Once we do that, we'll grab our red stained clay and go over the windows. Then we'll grab our orange stained clay and we'll build up four high. So it'll be eight high total. And then we'll grab our slab and go over the top of it. Now that we have that, we'll grab our stairs and we'll do the same thing above the windows. This was a little bit tricky on this part. I couldn't get it to go the way I wanted. So I just put a slab here and then I just place it on the side of it. Then we'll grab our glowstone and we'll put that inside. And that is the front of the build so far. Now we'll grab our quartz stairs and we'll just go under the slabs above everything. The total of the build is a 24 by 28. So it's 24 wide, 28 long. Alright, now that we have that finished, we will go and start working on the other side. So we'll come out one and over, and then we'll build this up just the way we have been. This window is going to be four, just like all the other windows have been so far. So we'll go ahead and fill in all this. Put our red above the windows for high. Go ahead and grab our slabs and put it on top just like we have been doing. And then we'll go with the stairs right below it. Next we'll grab our brown stained clay and we're going to come out one and we're going to go we're going to go 12 wide with this and we will be building it 13 high because we're going to put another logo on this side so we'll go ahead and build this up 13 high Hopefully you guys like the way this turned out. This is the first time I ever tried to build it, so I was happy the way it turned out, though, so hopefully you guys are, too. All right, now that we have that 13 high, we're going to grab our block of quartz, and we're going to go four over from the left side, and three down from the top and we're gonna start our D again hopefully I won't mess this one up as much as I did the last one so I'll put a stair there and I already forgot how I did it put an upside down stair here alright now we'll work on our Q It's basically just a flip-flop of the D, basically. I'll put an upside-down stair here. And then one regular block of quart, or two block of quartz. One here, and a stair. Two down, upside-down stair, and a block of quart. Then we'll grab our red stained clay and we'll just fill in everything. Alright, now that we have that finished, we'll grab our orange stained clay. We'll put one in the corner and four across. And then the blue wool, one in the corner and four across. Now we'll grab our slab and we'll just go over the top of everything. 
And on the right side of the brown wool, we're going to put just a small little door, just a side entrance. So we'll go three high and just make a little door frame. We'll grab our block of quartz and go over all that. And then to the right of the door, we're going to put in uh, another 2x4 window. We'll build that up and put the, stain, the black stained glass in there. And next we're going to just put another 2x2 uh, two two window. All right, now that we have that filled in, we'll grab our red stained clay and we'll just go above all the windows with it. Grab our orange stained clay and go four high. And then we'll grab our quartz slabs and go over the top of everything. Then we'll go over one and start our back wall but we're gonna go ahead and do the other side the left side of the build so we'll skip a block and come over and then I believe we're gonna put another 2x4 window here so we'll just build the window frame and then grab our stained glass and fill that in and then the red stained clay above the windows and then the four high with the stained orange. Next, we're going to be grabbing our stained glass and we're going to put another side door for another side entrance. grab our quartz to go over that and then the red stained clay next we're gonna grab our brown stained clay and we're gonna go five over this is gonna be one of the drive-through windows it's gonna be the one where you pick up your food and here instead of going eight high we're gonna go nine high go ahead and fill in this with four high of the orange stained clay. We'll grab our quartz slabs and go over the top of everything real quick. Next we're going to grab our orange stained clay. We're going to go in one and over nine. So it'll be nine wide and eight high with the orange. Now that we have that, we'll go over it with our slabs and we'll grab our brown wool. We're going to go five across again. And this is going to be the first pickup window where you pay for everything. So we'll grab our stained glass, make a little window. And this will be nine high with the brown stained clay. And we'll grab our quartz slabs and go over the top. And we'll go over one and skip. And now we're just working on the back wall here. It's all going to be, it's going to be four high with the quartz and then four high with the orange stained clay. The back walls we usually keep pretty bland on uh, restaurants because, or fast food restaurants because that's usually where you're driving up behind you'll see the menu and everything so we'll end up putting a menu back here in another episode so we'll go ahead and build this up for high and then we'll go over the top of it with our quartz slabs just like we have been this whole build Alright, now that we have that finished, 
we'll go in the inside where the door is and we're going to go ahead and build up four high with the quartz and four high with the orange clay and then on the side of the window we're going to do the same four high with the quartz and four high with the stain, orange stained clay now we'll go ahead and what am I going to do we'll go ahead and start going over the above the windows with our little frame so we'll do the stairs and then the slab four stairs and then we'll grab our glowstone and put that on the inside we'll go ahead and do the ones we haven't done yet so it's just the same thing over and over stairs slab basically so now that we have those filled in gonna grab our glowstone and put the glowstone in the holes we'll go over to the left side and do this we'll put the red clay above the windows also or the pickup windows and we'll do the little frame around each one of those I just put glowstone in there so like if it's ever night time I think it'll show up and look pretty good but now that we have the option to turn off weather and night time I probably won't ever see it <laughs> got a few more windows to finish up and then we will work on the entrance way where the doors are I can stop misplacing. Alright, now that we have that, we'll just go ahead and put it in our glowstone. And now we'll work on the edges or around the top. We're going to go with the upside down stairs all the way around the build. I just think that gives it a little bit more detail, so that's, that's what I usually do with my builds. So we'll just go with upside down court stairs where there's a court top above everything. If you guys have any other ideas of any other fast food restaurants or anything, just let me know and I'll get to it eventually. I like doing smaller builds because I, I can get those out in two episodes basically. But on the 13 high where the brown is, we go all the way around. Alright, now that we have that finished, we're going to the way I fill in this roof I just use the slabs if you would like to use something else you can but the outside of the the build is already the court slab so I just use it for the entire build so now we'll go to the door I'm gonna grab the spruce door because I haven't used it yet and I'm gonna put it inside like this so the stairs so we can put upside down stairs and it'll be even and then we'll go with the slab on the outside of the stairs we'll go ahead and put doors in here and we'll grab our red stained clay because I forgot to do that and we'll build the little frame I didn't put glowstone up there but uh, you can if you want, I totally forgot we'll go ahead and put in a door here and that's basically going to be it for this build. Just go ahead and finish the roof on your own time. But that's going to be all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and let me know what you thought. And that's going to be all. Hope you guys have a great day. And peace.